The fieldwork is a, a two weeks trip to southern France in Digne le Bain, where we are based. We will live in a campsite and uh, it's, it's in Provence, in, in southern France. Uh, it's a two weeks field trip for the hydrology and water resource students and 10 days field trip for field work for the uh, river basin development students. The whole idea of this field work is that the students um, get to apply what they have learned throughout the past modules in the, uh, back home, back at in Delft, uh, in, in, in reality, in practice, eh? something that they will also be doing when they, when, once they finish their course. Uh, the first day that we are in the field, we do a, we call it the geo walk. It's a well, about eight hours geological walk. We observe a, along a mountain road, a small road, and we observe all the geological uh, formations which are there, the type of rocks, and we take samples. We analyze them with the lens, with the compass. We measure the, the deep and strike of the layers. Uh, and then this, the second and the third day, those are experimental days in which they learn to use several tools and, and, and do field experiments with discharge measurements, geophysical surveying, drilling, borehole log descriptions, some chemistry. We look at sediments in rivers. Uh, here, for example, we're doing sediment tests and it's quite important for designing uh, structures on, on rivers or how, how to understand the behavior of the river. To look at the distribution of sediments, um, and, we look, and we look at methods how to characterize um, basins. So I think from an educational point of view it's a very uh, important step that people uh, go to the field and measure because behind your computer and from the books all the theory it's all nice but these students now learn that there's a big difference between theory and practice. You have to be here in the field and see that things are not so perfect. You, you can drill a hole until a stone and then you have to start over again. And in the future, when in their jobs, it's very important when they send out people to the field that they really know, remember this feeling of being in the field. And Later, when they use data in models, um, for example, or for evaluating how much water there is in the river, they have some feeling about, well, how accurate is that, is that data? And well, they can value it because they now understand what it, what it means to actually capture discharge data. And then they go into the field with their assignments, different assignments. And for the hydrology and water resource students, this is getting to know the time-dependent water balance of a catchment uh, and, and what are the factors that influence that water balance. Also, land use is a very important aspect there. So if you have uh, human activities that are over everywhere around us, uh, how they affect both the hydrological system in terms of quantity as well as quality, uh, how they affect the, the, the quality of the water. Yesterday also we did water quality analysis. We identified water type. We are getting a lot of experience. This is important to, uh, to know what happens, uh, for example, if there's a rainfall event. How quickly will the water end up in the river and do we have to take measures? But also on the longer term, what, what if scenarios? What if uh, the climate changes and more rainfall? Or the rainfall will be more intense? What will happen in that catchment? The river basin development participants design a sediment protection structure like a check dam so to, to avoid sediment to come downstream and, and uh, uh, yeah, be sedimented nearby the, the, the villages. But they need of course to measure the profile of the river, the cross sections, but also discharge and um, and other characteristics of that river basin. And that will help them make a, a solid engineering design. Our studies often depend on, our models depend on data, but what does it mean to capture that data in the field? How do you do it? And also, what sort of mistakes can you make? And how accurate is that data? We think that's extremely important for, for, for using that data later on in, in modeling studies. They'll be working on those catchments in small groups. And, and then in the end, they will have to report on what they found in their catchment uh, affecting the hydrology of that, that system and, um, and the water balance of it. I'm usually working on like uh, administrative stuff, mostly about documents. So this is a brand new experience for me that I can actually go on the field site to work on different experience. The field visit is a kind of uh, refreshing uh, what we have been taught in a class. All the things that I see in the books, okay, most of them we get to see it here, so it's interesting and a good experience for me.
it's good to know and to understand how thing works and how they do it and how hard it is sometimes. And links is oh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>